In that video, you are going to learn how to create a countdown timer on Android. Sometimes, when you make Android applications, you need to create a countdown. It can be useful in a board game, for example, if the player have a definite time to play. A lot of solutions exist to create a countdown in Java. Some are more complex than others. On Android, the SDK offers the developer an easy way to create a countdown timer. A dedicated class named countdown timer. First, we are going to create a countdown timer. We are going to use a user interface with two buttons and a text view. Here we get the reference to the buttons, start and cancel, and add a reference to a countdown timer. We create a start and a cancel method that would be called uh, when uh, the user will click on the start and cancel button. On the start method, we are going to create the countdown timer with the classic constructor. In the first parameter, we set the, the countdown and the, the tick is the second parameter. Here we have a 60 second timer with tick each one second. The onTick and onFinish method are called in a separate, no, are called in the unit thread. We get the text view reference to display the time of the countdown. On each tick, we are uh, going to update the, the countdown timer. And when the countdown is ended, we set uh, the done message on the time text view. The cancel method is used to cancel the countdown timer. For the demo, we choose to set a, a 15 seconds uh, timer. Now we can, uh, we can make the demo. Click on the play button and choose the virtual device. We have just to wait the gradle beam build be finished. It takes some time. So the application 
He's almost launched. Wait some time again and again. So we can click on the start button to launch the countdown timer. There is a little problem maybe. So go to the code. We need to set the on click listener for the start and cancel button. And then uh, click on play button. And run and some changes. So click on the start button. Always a problem. So what's the problem? We need to start the countdown timer with the start method. Click on the start button. Crash. So the condom timer not is not initialized. Little mistake. So we can click on the play button. And now we click on start. And the countdown is launched. It's done. We can restart the countdown timer. Then click on the cancel method. To conclude, we can say that the condom timer class is the ideal solution to create condom timer on Android. Powerful and easy to use.